So this question is a bit of a twist on some of the questions we've been doing so far. In this case, we're given a point within a function f in terms of x, and we're asked to determine a related point on a transformed version of this function. So, you're probably thinking, there are lots of points on any function, including this transformed function. So which point are we supposed to identify? Well, you're totally right. There are lots of points that are legitimate here. But we can't just guess at points. Let's take a look at one way to identify one of the legitimate points based on what we've been given here. So first of all, let's summarize what we know. We know that on this f in terms of x, when x is 6, y is 9. And another way to write that, that'll be useful, is f in terms of 6 equals 9. So, if we can figure out a way to make an f in terms of 6 in this new relation, then we can replace it with a 9. So, let's see how we can make that happen. How do we make an f in terms of 6 out of this? Well, we look in the brackets. And what does x have to be to get a 6 in these brackets here? Well, you may be able to do it in your head, or we can easily make an equation out of this. We want 2x plus 2 to equal 6. So we can isolate the variable, and we see that x would have to be 2. So at this point, we have our x, and now we have to determine our y. So with x equals 2, we can replace the f in terms of 2x plus 2 with f in terms of 6. And we go back to our known information. We see that we can replace that f in terms of 6 with 9. So when x is 2, y equals negative 9 plus 1 is negative 8. So, when x is 2, y is negative 8. And we know that this is a legitimate point on our transformed relation. Are there other points? Yeah, you bet. Lots of them. This type of question is really about using your problem-solving skills to identify that one particular point using your given information. 